Hey guys, it's Pierre and in this video I want to talk about uh, wireframes and uh, what are the best practices uh, which uh, you should use uh, for working with uh, either startups or even uh, large enterprise companies because there's going to be some topics uh, which uh, are going to essentially make you change uh, the way that you work uh, based on the type of client that you're working with. Uh, so let's uh, get started. And uh, this is a question which I received uh, from uh, one of the students uh, in uh, my recent uh, Figma course, which uh, you can find in the link in the description. It's an uh, over nine hour course which I created over the past uh, year so i really put my heart and soul into this uh, so if you really want to bring your figma design skills to the next level feel free to check it out uh, but going back to the actual original topic what uh, i wanted to discuss is uh, this question of, of uh, how i should use uh, wireframes uh, within the design process and uh, the answer varies uh, on uh, uh, both your personal design workflow but uh, what is most convenient for the client so what I do for in my typical process uh, is uh, I'm going to leverage wireframes uh, as a way to communicate with the client uh, about what uh, is uh, the basic idea around a specific uh, landing page uh, dashboard screen uh, or anything in between really so wireframes uh, you can uh, leverage uh, um, either UI kits like this one. So uh, you're going to find all sorts of uh, different visuals which are pre-created. And uh, these uh, UI kits, uh, I really enjoy them for landing page design more than dashboard design because dashboard design is more intricate. So it's um, usually easier for me to literally just create uh, a base around these lines so I'm literally going to uh, create uh, this uh, on the fly and uh, just starting to mock up uh, you know for example here on the side I'm going to have the site menu here we're maybe going to have uh, a title and uh, you can reduce uh, you know the size of these in order to make them more granular and you can communicate that uh, here we're going to have a description and uh, these are all things which are, are going to be really helpful to note down from a high level even before you work uh, on uh, the actual design and uh, the reason being is that uh, you don't want to create a pixel perfect screen invest maybe like two four six uh, eight hours uh, creating this amazing looking dashboard uh, with uh, the perfect drop shadows and the color palette which uh, just is outstanding and uh, then uh, receive the feedback from the client that uh, hey this is actually not the direction that we work uh, that we want to work with we actually just want this to be minimized because uh, here on the right side we want to give a lot of emphasis to this element so creating wireframes uh, is uh, essentially a shortcut uh, to communicate uh, a visual concept uh, in an efficient way so this is uh, pretty much uh, all that wireframes uh, are about and one thing that i like to do is because sometimes creating these lo-fi wireframes uh, is um, really not enough for the client to understand uh, what is the logic behind some of the decisions that you're making what i like to do is uh, to add uh, for example some uh, some text uh, which uh, is going to be descriptive of the section so for example over here i'm thinking that there's going to be description text and i can literally write uh, description text and over here i can write headline sometimes uh, this is needed sometimes this is uh, you, you can literally just understand it from context but um, you can uh, essentially utilize uh, both uh, text uh, and uh, visuals in order to communicate a concept uh, really um, in depth so for example if i need to note down some bullet points here i have the ability to do so i can maybe like stretch them horizontally in this case but you, you get the point and uh, this is going to be very useful in order for you to communicate uh, you know some concepts and you can use uh, you know visuals just this one like hey i'm going to actually go ahead and create uh, a graph uh, around uh, this uh, concept right here and um, you see the point by now like you can easily leverage wireframes in order to 
communicate something in a very fast way and this is so much faster than creating the actual UI design. And then once you have uh, the approval from the client that uh, tells you, hey, this is, uh, this is actually perfect, uh, let's go with uh, this solution. You can then uh, go ahead uh, and uh, invest uh, all the time to create uh, the perfect uh, visuals which uh, you are uh, um, capable of uh, doing uh, now that uh, you followed all of my tutorials and other courses online you're uh, uh, in that position so you can easily jump right into it and um, alternatively again you can create something around these lines which is uh, almost like freestyling uh, if you wish or you can uh, utilize one of these uh, UI kits. Uh, now, my recommendation is uh, if uh, you're going to use a UI kit, which is a total viable option, uh, especially because uh, the benefit of UI kits is that you're going to have all sorts of components pre-built, uh, so you don't even have to uh, spend time into creating them. And uh, there's also going to be a level of consistency which uh, is uh, harder to achieve uh, when it comes to something around these lines. I mean, you can uh, uh, even pre-build some of these yourself, but why waste the time? So you can um, uh, easily opt for that option if uh, you find a UI kit which is uh, big enough and that is not too uh, difficult to navigate because uh, one of the issues that I have with some of these uh, wireframes UI kits uh, is, uh, first of all, they are too complex and it's difficult to find the components which uh, I am intending in using, and uh, that's one. And then secondarily, some of them are so heavily nested with uh, auto layouts which are connected to design system and so on and so forth, but with its own logic. So in, it's like each and every designer is thinking about uh, uh, the design system and the auto layout in its own way. So sometimes it's hard to simply um, decipher what's going on. And this takes more time because you, you then, if you need to create say variations of a specific component, uh, then uh, that is going to require more time than it would to, you know, simply going with uh, this approach where you're creating a quick wireframe fast. And again, the, the goal here for the wireframe is not to make it pretty. Of course, you want to something like this uh, looks better than uh, something that we created on the fly, but you can easily ad adjust this and you know, make it look more pretty. It's just to give you a basic uh, understanding of what's going on and um, how you can leverage essentially these, uh, these tools. And then you can create your own, you can uh, uh, even leverage a, a wireframe kit which uh, has uh, just the components so you, you don't even have the full built pages uh, like uh, in this case but you simply have uh, components uh, which uh, you can then drag and drop uh, into your canvas and convey this uh, to your clients. So this is pretty much it uh, for this video. If you have any specific questions about wireframes feel free to leave them in the comments below and uh, I will uh, do my best to get back to you.